Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel, The Traveling Blossom Tarot, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. I'm so happy to have you here. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much. Just want to say thank you for your encouragement, your support. It's been amazing. We reached over 300 subscribers this past week, so thank you so much. I'm just totally blown away and so, so grateful. I um, also want to direct your attention over to my community tab, Scorpio, where you can enter my free monthly tarot giveaway. And also, I would like to invite you over to join me and the others on Facebook for uh, collective readings and free tarot pulls every Monday, live at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So do check us out over there. I'd love to have you join us over there. Now, Scorpio, I am having a lot of technical difficulties here. Um, I had great difficulty with the Pisces reading and getting it off you know started getting it kept shutting down things kept shutting down and with you I'm getting a lot of glitches so I do feel the energy of the mercury retrograde uh, coming into play here for you um, as well as Pisces and I mentioned um, Pisces because possibly you're dealing with them and the glitches and all of this uh, technical stuff started happening with the two of you so maybe you have a strong Pisces placement or you're dealing with Pisces uh, or you're a Pisces cross watcher or something um, but as I was saying, there's a lot of glitches in the in the um, the reading and trying to record the reading. So uh, bringing in that Mercury retrograde shadow period and uh, dealing with shadow, it brings me to like more shady, shadowy energies. So you could be dealing with uh, people coming back that were possibly manipulative or something like that. But also, this could be about dark nights of the soul. Um, this could be about hand, you know going within and dealing with those darker sides of yourself and healing things um that energy is there as well as that chiron energy because uh we have chiron that is making um, a big impact this month a lot of stuff going on with that so i would i would say you know possibly check out your chiron as well as mercury and see what's going on there because this energy is coming through for you now I am not an astrologer. I am an intuitive tarot card reader and psychic. That is it. I do feel the energies and I communicate what I feel. And that is the energy that I'm feeling. I'm feeling Chiron energy as well as Mercury um, for Scorpio. Um, so I started to do your reading a while ago and we had a glitch, but these energies came out and I'm being guided to go ahead and keep them. These would be your overarching energies, and you have quite a bit. You have four overarching energies, bringing me to that energy of the emperor, Aries energy, as well as leadership, um, as well, you know, power, um, strength, courage. Uh, but it's foundational energy too. So this could be things that are um, happening within the home. Maybe you're having a lot of struggle at home right now. Maybe you're fighting a lot or uh, people are at, at each other's, you know, throats because the energy would certainly, um, you know, be there for that. I hope that's not the case. If it is, please do find yourself a break or something. Get away from it if you can. Um, but anyway, back to the, the card. So we have uh, number 13, which is your energy, coming in is the goat. And there's more of that Aryan energy I get with that. Uh, the goat, though, that's Virgo. So fearless, I am in the path I chose. Or wait a minute. Fearless, I am in the path I choose, for I never been led astray, always finding my way. So this is about you being able to find your way through everything no matter what each change number 13 each transformation transformation each time you have to go into the depths of hell and to um, shift things within and come out and rise above you never lose your way you always make it you always find it you are a great leader <clears throat> excuse me you are a great leader with the energy of virgo this could be about your mercury so scorpio if you do have a scorpio mercury there could definitely be something here in the reading for you today um this is also about your insight see that third eye energy right there on the goat's head we have um that third eye energy so always seeing the truth you're you see it you know shit 
right? <laughs> Next we have the Pegasus coming in and number 30 reducing down to a three. Now that's that Empress energy, so something new beginning, a new birthing, a pregnancy. Now that energy was coming out in the reading that I tried to do for you guys before all the glitching started taking place. And what happened is some of you Scorpios could actually be finding out you're pregnant. You could be um, finding out you're pregnant and actually finding out the sex of the baby. And I do believe it's a girl because that was the energy that was coming in. So if you start resonating with this reading and you are pregnant, you may go and find out that it is a girl. Um, Pegasus number 30, break free, dear one. Spread wide and far. You aren't containable. You are limitless. So um, go you know if this feels like you're looking you're searching for a freedom here you're searching for an adventure possibly uh something new you're ready for something to take place you're ready for a new chapter a new beginning you're ready to spread your wings for sure definitely with that pegasus coming in and it could be about um becoming a new mom or father you know new mom and father um excuse me my hair Next, we have the Oracle coming in, number 28. 28 reduces to a 10, further reducing to a 1. And so it is about endings and new beginnings. There is something that's, um, there's a transformation here. There's a shift um, because you're right here at the end and the beginning. So the shift is right there. Uh, this could be definitely, I'm sorry, this is like bugging me. <laughs> um, definitely, you're right there at the transformational point where things are about to start to take place, where you're going to start, the momentum is going to start growing, right? Even uh, if you're pregnant, it could be about your belly starting to grow, starting to take shape and form and people starting to notice. Maybe you've been keeping it in the dark with that, uh, you know, that darkness energy that was coming in. Maybe you were keeping it in the dark. You weren't wanting to share that information, but it's at the point where now people are just going to start noticing. So this says, spirits of other worlds, tell me tales of the unknown. Tell me tales of the forbidden. So this is about you digging deep. Um, you're ready for something you've never experienced before. You're ready to take a risk. With that, tell me tales of the unknown. The unknown is taking a risk. It's you jumping into it. So I do feel you're ready for this new adventure, this new risk, um, possibly new baby. And then we have number 21, which reduces down to a three. So that's two threes that you have. Double Empress Energy, I feel like confirming that the Scorpios that are here today are coming here or being drawn to this reading. You're either going to find out you're pregnant or and you're going to find out if it's set about the sex. If you're going to find out the sex of the baby, you already know you're pregnant. You might find out you're having a girl. Uh, but we have um, two threes here. So... Magnified energy 33. This is the love spell. It says let the honey of your soul swell in the depths of love So this is a brand new love. This is a this, When you have a baby, especially if you're a new parent new mom, you've got this baby growing inside you this this creation It's so amazing, right? You feel it growing in you with every day and it just fills you with such a, a love that you've never really truly felt before because it really is inner and it's just amazing so I feel like this is um, you know you're you're um, diving into the depths of love you've never known before because love for a child is so different from love for a friend or a parent or something like that this is something you're actually birthing into the world there's a connection there that is so amazing and it really does you know make you um, swell it makes your heart swell it makes you light up so I, I feel like um, strong energy here for Scorpio is a possible um, baby or a possible new relationship a relationship that actually uh, brings great joy to your life and it, it's not um, It's not, it's not like puppy love. I'm hearing puppy love. It's not like that. It's like real. It's real. It's something solid. It's something that um, you can uh, stand on. Excuse me. Number 13, emperor energy. It's something solid, something you can depend on. All right. 
So let's dive into the cards and see what else they have to add to this, Scorpio. You've got quite a bit of overarching energy. Um, if any of that is resonating with you, I'd love to know about it. Please let me know. If you you know if you find out you're pregnant or you're having a girl, please let me know. I'd love, 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 love to hear about it. And if you do comment and let me know, I will respond personally. So uh, definitely keep your eyes open. Um, there's a lot of change. There's a lot of things taking place. So be open to the change. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Good news is on the way. Oh, I love this Scorpio. Oh my God. <laughs> so sorry. That card flipped up and landed right in my cup. This is going to knock you. This, this, this news is going to, um, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's going to throw you for a loop. Some of you, maybe you were, um, I'm hearing barren. You thought you were barren. You weren't able to birth a child or something like that and or get pregnant, but you're going to. You're going to. You're going to find out that you are pregnant. It may be in um, the way that you go about getting pregnant uh it may be that you have to do something differently maybe you have to do like in vitro or or surrogacy or something like that but okay so much of those fell down there scorpio um could be about the way that you have to get pregnant there's been adoption Things like that in the energy uh, so it could be you know that you may adopt and that's how you become a mom or you become a father you become a parent Wow these card cards are really starting to jump they're really starting to jump yeah this energy came out a couple of weeks ago and I, I want to say I don't know if it was for you Scorpio or not I can't remember but adoption um that could be an avenue for some of you but the energy that i really get is um you're pregnant Alright Scorpio, so um, if you follow my channel, you know that I do not pull, pull cards. I let them flip, fly, jump, do whatever they need to do to get from me to you. I, I am pulling all the cards right now. I'm doing a Celtic spread just in case you're curious. Uh, I've just about got all your cards pulled. These are the energies that I've been getting off the cards. If you feel something um, different, by all means, it, um, trust that you have a lot of cups here so I do feel like you are uh, gonna know love on a level that you've never known it before okay you're going to discover something about something that uh, something deep something deeper you're going to go deeper on a level of love than you've ever ever gone before excuse me for a moment all right so definitely could be receiving that news you get that call hey scorpio you're pregnant guess what it's a girl um all your dreams coming true you have right here at the center of it all, you have the page of wands. So this is good news. This is um, good news that's going to be communicated. It is going to be something that uh, lights you up, right? It's something that you want. It's something that you've been working towards, something that you've been going after. It's something you've been chasing with that page of wands. Look, that bicycle. You've been chasing this dream for a long time, and the news is coming. It is coming very, very soon. Um, it is going to fulfill your dreams. This is your dream to become, I feel like, a parent. That's what I really feel like. You want to become a parent. You want to experience the, um, the creation of a child. 
and and the joy and all the things that it brings to your life that's what i really feel you have the star crossing you you've been um keeping your faith uh with that with it crossing you you may be um you may be becoming you know a little bit it's not in reverse so it's still in the positive so that makes me feel good but you may be feeling a little bit hopeless about the situation you may be starting to get some of those darker thoughts and if that's the case spirit is saying you know sweeten it with love change those thoughts you know from from vinegar to sugar because um you know this is coming for you scorpio this really is coming for you it's going to be your dreams fulfilled so keep your faith um keep hoping keep hope alive because it is on its way it's definitely on its way you have had a um in the recent past you had to have uh, make decisions about your life you've had judgment so it could be about the way that you decided to have a child there as I was saying before maybe you have to do things differently maybe you have to try in vitro or you have to try surrogacy maybe you're even being a surrogate for someone that you truly love that you love on such a deep level that you want to help them have this child but I really feel this is all about the birth and love of a child this entire energy all the energy here is going to love and birth of a child and i feel a feminine energy it doesn't have to be a girl but i really strongly feel it that it is a girl and um it is feminine energy uh but you've had to um you've had to come to terms with how or, or something in regards to this baby you've had to make some decisions you've had to um, do a lot of reflection to gain some understanding so that you could move forward um, crowning you you have the page of swords so you've definitely been in thought you do have new ideas you do have new ways um, you may be thinking of ways to set this up you may be um, in communications with lawyers or anything like that with that page of swords there that is communication it is um, talking so you're talking with someone it could be receiving the news the phone call from the doctor crowning you right there it's right on top like here it comes it's coming in quick you ready you got two pages that's fast fast information both of those both pages are information messages and I feel like the message here is uh, the doctor's call you know the the doctor's office calls you hey Scorpio can you come on in we need to um, talk about some prenatal vitamins <laughs> or something like that now in your emotional in your emotions the way you're feeling about this is you're feeling you're having to you're wanting to hold back um, you're wanting to maybe not share so much maybe you've gone through this a couple times and uh, things haven't worked out possibly in the past and if that's the case you know my heart goes out to you I feel it's going to be very good this time um, everything's going to be okay but I feel like with the four coins down here in your emotions that you are holding back you may you may not be telling everyone that you're pregnant right now you may be waiting till you reach a certain point in the pregnancy or something like that or in the adoption maybe you you know I've, se I've seen, you know, um, on the news and things like that where adoptions didn't go through when they had went all the way through, but then mom and dad come back. So maybe you've had some legalities where things haven't worked out in the past with that too, with adoption. And now, um, you know, things are, things are shifting, things are coming, it's coming back, but you're holding back, you're holding back. Like, I'm not going to share this news right yet. I'm not going to tell everyone that we're pregnant. I'm not going to tell everyone that, you know, we got the call. We have a baby. We have a girl. We have a little girl waiting for us, you know, or, or whatever it may be. Um, we're just going to hold back for a moment until everything goes through. Until everything is um, worked out and, and decided upon and, you know, all of that. Um, your um, outer influences or exterior influences, you have the Knight of Wands here. So... Um, this is a great risk for you. I feel a very huge risk here for Scorpio and with this uh, pregnancy. You may be one that is a high risk pregnancy. Um, there's youth here with the two pages. So, uh, and please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to, to tell you what I, what I 
see, feel, and, and all that into it, the cards. But there's pages here. And the pages are adolescents. They're, you know, like a teenager. So this could be a high-risk pregnancy in a situation like that. Or um, you're just a high-risk pregnancy because you've tried so many times before and you've had, um, you know, some, some problems. Excuse that glitch right there I just saw. But um, it, this is about you taking a risk that, uh, um, you know, maybe everyone and being outside influences, this could be why you're holding it back and why you're not telling everyone with that because maybe everyone thinks, hey, Scorpio, you know, you shouldn't be doing this anymore. You should just stop. You should just, you know, maybe give up, maybe, um, you know, <clears throat> maybe move on or something, uh, maybe, you know not try to do this you might have people trying to discourage you is what i'm getting at they may be saying no but um in your in your hopes fears and dreams you have the six of wands you have success you have the star and you have six of wands and right there uh the six of wands being in your hopes dreams and fears and the star being hopes and dreams you know and faith uh you definitely have um success coming um, you will be able to share the news, I feel like, very soon. Um, definitely uh, going to be able to, um, you're going to have success with this, okay? That's the energy that I feel. I feel like you're going to, everything's going to be okay. And, and you're going to be able to share this with your family. You're going to be able to help others maybe with that that, for, that leader, you know, the goat there. You may be able to uh, communicate and help others, you know, inspire other people to keep going, keep trying, something like that. Um, in the uh, potential outcome, you have the Knight of Cups. So I do feel like you're going to have... Um, Oh, you have the Knight of Cups in the potential outcome, and then you have the Page of Cups in your future. So I feel like you're going to have fulfillment. You're going to have the family. Family. I feel Ten of Cups energy right there with those two. Um, I feel like that you're going to um, be fulfilled. You're going to be happy. Your dreams are going to come true and this is going to be a love that you've never experienced before in your life you've never known a greater love than this love for a child it is it is tremendous um, is something so it's it's definitely going to change you it's um yeah definitely going to change you but Scorpio everything that happened yesterday has set you up for tomorrow. So just just know that you're right here. You're at this new beginning. You're at this crossroads. You're at this place where you're you're going to have your wishes and your dreams completed. You've come full circle. This is the end of all of that. This this um, is going to complete what your dreams. This is going to complete your dreams and uh, the life that you hope for so I do feel that energy there all right let's see what else spirit <clears throat> what else for Scorpio please there's a lot of love you have so much love to give this little bundle of joy is going to be so freaking loved and a bunch of cards flipped over and I just want you to see what flipped over cherish you are going to cherish this baby. This baby is going to bring in happiness. Look at that. It's going to be tense change. There's signs and synchronicities for you to watch. Some of you, you can reconcile relationships. This is going to reconcile that relationship within you. Sometimes you're going to feel like you're in a maze. <laughs> those are just the energies that, that popped over. I just wanted you to see those. Let's go ahead and see what else we have for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. Let go, Scorpio. Release the fears. Release the doubts. You have the star over top of you. It's crossing you. So let go. Release the fears. Release the doubts. Release the guilt. 
Release the guilt. We have guilty coming in. It says, don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness. Release the guilt. Let go. Release all of that. You have the twin flame coming in, number two. Now, the energy that I get here is some of you could have twins. I don't get like a twin flame union. I feel like this is spirit saying there may be two. There may be two, but it says twin flames themselves contain an aspect of each other's personality. So I feel like for Scorpio, this is uh, twins and it's girls. It's it feels it, it's girls. That's what I feel. I can't I can't even say feminine energy. I feel girls. And so I'm going to go with that. And then last, you got let go. Some things are best let go and let the universe work it out in its divine time. This could be about you releasing that control, uh, you know, trying to control the situation. And you actually got to a point with that star there crossing you. You actually got to a point where you gave up hope and you were just like, I'm not even going to try anymore. I'm just done. I'm just done. And then boom, here it is. There it is. You know, here it comes. Here comes baby. Baby Scorpio. I like that. Baby Scorpio. More for Scorpio, please. Let go. Let the, um, it's, it's happening. And it's going to come quick. It really is. Um, before you know it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, before you know it, uh, you're going to get the call. That could be an indication, that phone call right there. Could be an indication that you're going to get the call. Your phone may ring right now. If it does, please let me know. Okay, thank you. I don't pull cards, Squirt. I think you know that. All right, so you got number 18, tree, let them go. So this is about you releasing it, letting it go. Release those doubts, release those fears because it's happening, it's coming, it's on its way. Number 18 <clears throat> reduces to a nine. Excuse me, hermit energy. We had uh, crown uh, at the beginning, we had the goat overarching you, Virgo energy. Virgo is hermit energy, so um, reflect. The light is almost there, but you've got tree. Let it go. Release those doubts. That's twice you've been told to release those doubts, and I do feel that number two is significant as well. Then you have number one, princess. You can be your own knight. So for some of you Scorpios, this could be actually about you've been trying yourself to have a child. You're not in partnership. You're not with anybody. You can be your own knight, and you can be a great, great mom, dad, pops, whatever for this child. A single parent um, that's just for a small percentage of you though all right Scorpio let's get you a mindful message to help you through this oh. cards are just flopping out I feel like that's gonna be um, the information too it's just gonna plop out like it's just gonna be like blow your mind Scorpio <clears throat> you got dance it out I can move my emo <clears throat> excuse me I can move emotions through my body by dancing whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness I will play some music and move intuitively I don't have to look to a I don't have to look to a certain way simply move and feel as the stress and heaviness begins to ease out my body so dance move around shift your body do good things for yourself feed your body nutrients you're gonna need it right now um you got a baby coming <laughs> you're gonna need that uh you could be receiving the news there's that lovely news um a message expressing love today i notice the things i appreciate about the people in my life i take a moment to send them love and to wish them well my love is infinite and it feels great to express it you're gonna know love on a in a way you've never known it before <clears throat> excuse me some of you if you're not uh, resonating with being pregnant or having a baby this could just be about you rebirthing your love like into your heart like you're gonna know love like you've never known it before so this could be about that and this is going to bring about balance and wholeness in your in your life uh, it could be dealing with the libra 
So as I surround balance, I surround myself with people I love and enjoy my time with them, but I also take time to nurture my relationship with myself. I have found a healthy balance between being friends and having self-care time. So as I always say, keep that fraction for yourself. Take care of yourself. You're going to need to those nutrients and uh, to move your body and to do good things for yourself because, you know, you got to get it ready. You got to prepare it here, Scorp. All right, let's get you some charms. This will conclude your reading. Um, We were talking about the storm. <clears throat> I was talking about um, Pisces in your reading too, and uh, you might want to watch that reading because the storm was coming up for Pisces, and here you have the open, uh, the open umbrella. So I feel like this is saying, you know, remain open, keep that hope, keep that faith, and it could be about uh, rain. Um, maybe you need to go out and get grounded and meditate and uh, recharge your emotional body too because you do have that. Uh, Take time to nurture yourself. Um, give yourself a little bit, and you got that dance in your body, so maybe recharging. And then we have the mermaid. So witches' dreams coming true. This is water energy, so I feel like this is reiterating to um, recharge your energy, to nurture yourself, to take care of yourself. The mermaid's very beautiful. Um, she obviously looks like she tends to herself and takes care of herself, so maybe do that. you got the wings. Now, you've got to, I want you to look. We have the umbrella and then we have the wings, but both of them have open like holes, right? So I really feel the strong need to remain open and um, also connect with your guides, your angels. But uh, I feel the, the <clears throat> excuse me, my throat, there's something about communication. Remain open to the communication. Um, and then you've got the Pikachu shoe. I feel, oh my God, Pikachu peekaboo is what I really get. Peekaboo, like peekaboo, hello, you're pregnant. Uh, that could be a sign for you. If you happen to see a Pikachu shoe, it may be a sign that that call is going to come through very soon. And then you got the letter V, as in Victoria, victory, vict, uh, victorious. Um, but the letter V could be significant for you, Scorpio. Um, all right, Scorpio, I'm going to get going. I, um, I Man, if you resonated with this reading, well, congratulations. I'm like super stoked for you and happy. Uh, if you did resonate, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know about it. And if you liked it, you know, subscribe, etc. I'm going to get going. Um, until next time, take great care of yourself. And as always, may love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye.